So I've got the new 314 amp hour lithium battery from Watt Cycle. It's a smart edition and a mini size. And then I've also got a 30 amp MPPT charge controller from Watt Cycle. So I want to unbox these and see what they look like on the inside. Do a little bit of testing on both of them. But first, I've also got some pretty good shipping damage that occurred uh, on the 2000 mile journey from California to Indiana. So uh, let's check out what the battery looks like once we open that up. So you and I can see this for the first time. So we'll remove the charge controller. We'll take a look at that in a later video. Got the instructions that everyone's going to make sure and read as soon as they get those. Got about an inch of foam padding on the top that's kind of blocked in around the sides. Here's the about 60 pound battery. And so you see here on the inside, this did incur a pretty good bit of impact to the side, kind of crush that in. Other than that, that all looks okay. Looks like it actually rode on its side for quite a bit and actually kind of flatten that side out. This is the side that would have had the damage to it. Okay, so should be this side here. I do not see any evidence of it being touched by whatever impacted it. I don't see any damage on that side. I don't see any damage on that side. And I don't see any damage on that side. I guess we can flip it over to the back side or the bottom. That's all intact. I've seen a few reports of some people getting some bad seams on the case attachment. I've received I got three 300 amp hour lithium batteries from Watt Cycle for the trailer. We're in the Axiom right now. I got a 100 amp hour trolling motor battery, actually for my son for truck camping. And I got a few other batteries that Watt Cycle sent over for a giveaway for a YouTube event I went to a couple months ago. Uh, I've not had any problems at all, zero, with any of Watt Cycle's products. Um, I haven't had any problems with the batteries. I haven't had any problems with the cases. I've had great customer service with them. So give them a try if you want to check out some good batteries. So your battery is going to ship with a couple plastic terminal protectors. Once you remove those, you can either install the 8 millimeter by 12 millimeter terminal bolt, or if you have thicker connections, you've got a 8 millimeter by 16 millimeter terminal bolt. And that's a hex head on top as well as a Phillips head on the inside. So it's very versatile as far as what type of tools you may have around. Um, those have captured washers and lock washers on them. Which makes it nice to not drop little washers where you can't find them later. So your instruction manual is going to have a lot of good information as far as your charging, discharging capabilities, a lot of the tables as far as what the low temperature cutoff temperature is going to be set at, as well as it's going to tell you to go to either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store to download the Watt Cycle app for your mobile device. So here you can see on this iPhone, the Watt Cycle app here. So I'm currently, this battery is at 40%. You can show the kind of stacking coins right here, indicating the charging. Also right here, it's going to show the time until it's fully charged, the current internal temperature of the battery, the battery voltage, the charging amperage, and then the charging watts right there. And then it's also going to give you the option to turn on or off the charging capability. So as you see right here, this kind of blue color is actually when it's enabled. And so if I click that, it's going to show successfully set. And then it's now gone to kind of a light gray color. And now it's ceased charging. So that's actually one thing that I didn't think I was going to like quite as much. Um, I've got a lot of other components in my trailer. I've got a lot of Victron chargers and Victron shunt and whatnot. I've got a Guillendel inverter that runs the 120 volt capabilities inside this trailer but the ability to be able to turn the batteries on and off without having some type of big clunky, you know, physical switch is pretty convenient. So with the Watt Cycle app and the Watt Cycle Smart Edition batteries, this does give you some nice features that are convenient to be able to see 
your watts, your amps, your volts, what your battery is doing as far as charging or discharging and how long you can run a device. That's great. But one thing it also gives you is a little bit of additional safety. So when you're connecting larger DC electrical loads, like to this inverter, this is a 1500 watt gain Dell inverter. There's going to be large capacitors inside here. Those are very power hungry. Just like when you're using jumper cables on a vehicle and you connect those battery terminals, there's a lot of sparking that takes place. It's not much different when you're connecting these type of uh, inverters to a larger lithium battery, except these batteries are more powerful and that sparking can be a little bit more violent. It can actually melt the terminal ends here. It could actually melt the lugs on your battery cables as well. So with the ability to be able to turn the, out the discharge on these batteries off, you're essentially turning a light switch and turning these, the power off at these battery terminals. So you can see that you've turned it off there. You should never just trust that. And you should also test with the battery voltage meter to confirm that there's no, that no voltage present. Generally, you'd use a resistor to be able to slowly charge the capacitors inside here to not have some, some type of sparking take place. But with turning it off, there's literally very little concern of any type of voltage going to be able to flow through there. You can then go to your app. You see that that's going to turn dark blue there. So now charging, or excuse me, now discharging has been re-enabled. And if I can find the button over here, you've got power to the inverter without any type of sparking or arcing taking place here. So a lot of times when we go out camping, you know, one of the devices we're going to use is a hairdryer. Because let's face it, I take a lot of time getting ready in the mornings. So this is a 1500 watt inverter. This battery actually has a 200 amp BMS to it. Now I can get ready in the mornings. So as you can see that, it's only about 80 amps off of that battery. Technically this battery can handle two of these. Okay, so we'll basically call this the deluxe uh, unboxing video. Um, I've literally only had this battery for a few hours, so I've put a little bit of charge onto it. I've shown a little bit of the capabilities of it. I used the hair dryer on the inverter. It's not my hair dryer, it's my wife's hair dryer, but still. Um, this thing's a beast. This thing has a 200 amp BMS to it, and I'm going to test that really well next week. So I literally have not had this battery long enough to give it a full charge yet. So uh, that's going to be about it for this battery. But I can't tell you for this battery that I've had it for six months and it's worked great. I haven't. I've had it a number of a couple hours. That 100 amp hour battery I've had for four or five months. And I can tell you that right under this box here, I've got three of the 300 amp hour lithium batteries from Watt Cycle. We've been using those for about six months. We camp year round in this trailer. Um, and they go everywhere that we've gone for the last six months. Um, I think the only time in the last six months that this trailer has been plugged into shore power was the day I connected those. I charged one, I charged the other, I charged the third one, I connected them in parallel. And in the last six months, this trailer has not been plugged back into shore power. It has been used probably 30, 40, 50 days. I don't really count. We go camping a lot when we can on the weekends, on long weekends, on holidays, family events, um, hunting trips, and we run air conditioners, we run microwaves, curling irons sometimes, um, coffee makers. We had a YouTube event a couple weeks ago where we met up with some people and we brewed about 20 pots of coffee off of 100 amp hour battery you know off the batteries here in this trailer with a regular drip coffee maker so these batteries they're proven themselves um this is the fifth carry the two seventh battery that i've gotten from watt cycle um i've had zero issues with them at all none um they've all worked right out of the box They've all arrived with no shipping damage. This one had 
holes in the box when it showed up. I won't say which carrier brought it to me. Um, you know, no, no fault of watt cycle, uh, but there was holes in the cardboard box. This battery was flawless. This battery does not have any damage to it. Um, the packaging that watt cycle put around it worked. Um, so if you guys are looking for, you know, budget priced batteries that produce and they deliver and they consistently deliver, check them out. Um, I will have a link in the description on this video for this battery and others. It is an affiliate link. Um, I get a little commission if you do buy something off that, but uh, it doesn't cost you any more. But if you got valid information and valuable information off this video, I'd appreciate if you use that link and go shopping and check out their products. Um, it's worked great for me. So hope you got good information off this. Thanks.